Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Montanez here again, and we got another plugins in depth video, which is super dope. I love this plugin. I started using it quite often now, especially on my drum bus. It's the CLA-3A. It sounds great, it's dope. I know a lot of people has been using it. They're like, man, you need more knock in your drums? Throw up that CLA-3A, and I was like, I don't really use it, but it's about time, right? It's about time if I jumped on this one. And there's not really a lot to show on this plugin. There's only two knobs, which is a gain and a reduction. Then you got the high frequency, which is just a little screw, the two little uh, switches for the meters, and then a button to turn off the analog humming. We're just gonna talk about it real quick, and then we're gonna actually hear it in context. I'm gonna show it on two different applications. It's gonna be one, just an all drums track, and then I'm also going to show it on mix bus or master bus. The first thing about this plugin is it's actually, which a lot of people don't know, is that it's modeled after the SSL comp. So keep that in mind, since it's modeled after the SSL comp, what applications do you use that on? I know a lot of people use it on drums, and a lot of people use it on mix bus and like that's where it sounds great that's where it sounds golden and crispy and it really really works that's why this guy works on drums and of course the mix bus i personally don't use it too much on the mix bus but i've used it on drums and i really like the sound of it right there also the cla 38 it's a two bass compressor when you think about two bass you're thinking more warm sounding more full and it has the same kind of thing as the la 2 a where it has the t4 circuitry where if you have the real analog hardware that t4 actually has to be changed out often every few years or else you're losing like 80 to 90 percent of your compression if you need to know more about that you can check out my la 2 a video and i explain that more and also you can check out the ssl comp video and it'll explain more on that the cla3 which i really like is it gives you a nice punchy sound and that's why you want bigger drums you throw this bad one just gives a nice punch like things just sound better <laughs> the sweet spot on this is negative 18 dbfs so if you go into the in you want to be about the negative 18 on the input there and the output can be whatever you please whatever you like whatever sounds good to you this plugin also has thd which is that total harmonic distortion and that gives it that whole analog sound also i'm going to mention this too is since it doesn't have a release time or attack time it's not with every kind of plugin like this, but for this one specifically, it um, has the variable release time. Let's say you play back a hundred times, the compression is slightly different. Most of the times you won't even notice it, but it's very, very subtle that it will be slightly different the way the release time works on playback. Let's talk about the analog here. The analog is just the hum. So 50 hertz, it adds an extra hum at 50 hertz. 60 hertz adds an extra hum. And if you stack a lot of these plugins, you'll hear that hum inside your mixes and that's not great. So I always have it on off. Then you got your high frequency flat knob here. I turn it to 100%. I believe default, let's check, is at 50. Yeah, default is at 50. I like to leave it at 100%. Basically what this is, is the further you go away from flat, it's gonna give you more compression. If you go away from flat, it's gonna be a little more aggressive. So I like to leave it on flat and just move my peak reduction. And once, once in a while, I'll actually pull it back. So I believe it's gonna be a little more aggressive on the high frequencies. We'll test that out though, okay? Then we got the gain switch, which is makeup gain. This is not the input gain, it's the makeup gain. So it's the very last in the signal chain. And we also have the peak reduction. And the peak reduction is just the amount of compression you want. You have your VU meter, which it's the in, what's going in, what's coming out, and then how much is being gain reduced, how many dBs. You have a comp and limiter switch. So the comp switch, it's about a three to one ratio, and then the limiter is about 100 to one, and that's pretty much it. Now let's hear this bad boy in context, right? I'm thinking about pulling in a meter. Let's uh, hit the bullet so it stays open. And then I wanna just look into this high frequency section. So let's filter this bad boy and let's take off everything but the highs, right? So like right there. So everything's rolling off at 5K and it's gonna sound a little funny. Let's hear how that sounds. Okay, so that's just all high frequencies. <laughs> Sounds awful. Let's start with flat and let's just put it at five so we know where it's at. And this is gonna sit at five. Now that we have them both set at five, so it's five peak reduction, five at gain, let's go at 100% flat and let's see where our graph is going to show us where all the sound is at. And then I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna freeze the graph there and then we're gonna do the next one. Okay, so there's our graph, it's right there, right? And now let's go to zero. So that's gonna be basically 100%.
as you can tell now, it's giving us quite a bit of compression more. Look how low our graph is now, most high frequencies. Now let's try it without the uh, EQ3 and let's just see what that's gonna do now. So let's clear this, stick off that freeze, clear. And here's 100%. <laughs> and our, our gain reductions at like negative 10 dBs, which is nuts. So now let's go at zero. Let's check this out. So as you can tell, as I keep hitting freeze, our new graph is actually underneath it. As you can tell, it makes the compressor more aggressive. I didn't even check the gain reduction. Let's check that out. So now it's completely passing the 10 real easy. So that's what the screw is doing. I like to leave it at flat. And then if I need to make it more aggressive, I just pull that screw back a little bit. So now let's hear it in context. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, find a little section that's going to sound groovy for this. And then we're going to dial in some settings so you can hear it. Most of the sound you're going to be looking for is the kicks, the bass, and more of the body of the song. Actually, that sounds like a good section there because it has a lot of elements. So I pulled off all those plugins for the master. Um, we're not really going to use them. It's just making things staticky because I didn't use this in the original mix or masters. And let's use a meter here. I'm still going to use the meter so we can match those volumes the right way. Okay, so now what you want us to do is, like I said, those kicks and the body of the song. subtle but it does glue things a little bit more together and pushes it up just a hair let's push it a little bit more let's see what we can get with this guy so i'm gonna bring this down to 50 at their default and let's see what it sounds like right to admit when the world is falling down you ain't going down with it go on kill your mind now right to admit when the world is falling down you ain't going down with it go on You can hear everything gets a little more controlled. So that's kind of cool, right? So especially those hi-hats, it keeps them a little more controlled. And let's do an all drums track now. I have that here. And let's just hear it right on the drums. I'm gonna move it to that insert. And you can hear this one right away. Actually, it's just a lot more aggressive, just right away. It just gives it a nice energy. So I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna let the loop go through and then I'm gonna bypass it so you can check that out.
So like I said, right away on those drums, it just gets aggressive. It has more energy. And that's beautiful about this plugin. That's why I always slam it on the all drums track now. I mean, it sounds great. For the mix bus, like this is my first time actually trying it on the mix bus. It was very, very subtle where it's like, okay, things are staying together a little bit more. But honestly, I would stick with the SSL comp for that. But for this, the all drums, you hear the aggression. You hear it more energy, especially for drums when you're doing a trap B or you're doing some kind of pop record and you need more energy put this guy on the drums and it'll give the whole track energy because it's the drums in the background let's see if i can throw with the um acapella here i believe i got it so let's um let's duplicate this real quick let's uh pull that off and let's get the acapella track so it's be just the drums and the voice let's go in that section again somewhere Broke, you gotta make some change and right here you actually can hear it a lot like those drums just pop out and they get punchy the whole punchy thing they actually get punchy so let's check that out one more time i'm gonna play and i'm gonna bypass it and you're gonna hear it just drop and be like where'd the drums go Broke, you gotta make some now if you want to come get it don't be afraid to admit when the world is falling down you ain't going down with it so yeah, that's this plugin. It's super dope. I highly recommend it. So all right, guys, I know this was a quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps you out with the CLA3A, especially like you're trying to wonder like, how do I really use it or where do I put it at? Well, throw it on your drums. That's my recommendation. That's how I use it anyways. I slap it on my drums, dial this in, and then I just dial in the high frequency a little bit. Like I said, I pull it back. I always start at 100 though, then I pull it back. The makeup gain, you just really want to match vocals or you can even add gain to it and you don't need to uh, mess with the faders. So that's cool. If you want to add more gain, always feel free to add more gain. It doesn't have to match. You can always add more as well, as long as it doesn't distort, right? As always, don't forget, like, subscribe, share. And if you want to grab this plugin, there's a link in the description below. And check out my Patreon if you're interested. As always, to all you engineers out there and producers and artists, keep creating music. Take care.